Welcome back to our 10th session of DRS therapy. I'm Yoko. Today, we'll be exploring the notion of mindfulness and how art making can be a mindfulness practice and its impact on our health. We will also explore therapeutic art activities to practice mindfulness. It is an intentional or bare awareness of the present moment. That is, you intentionally focus on an experience and notice your thoughts, feelings and sensations. In simple terms, it means to slow down and attend to the present moment. Look, listen, taste, smell or feel closely with an intentional focus. It is also a technique for spiritual exploration. There are different ways to develop and practice mindfulness, such as mindful breathing, mindful eating, mindful seeing, or mindful walking. Mindfulness practice usually highlights the focus on our breath or a feeling or sensation in the body. Nowadays, mindfulness is recognized globally and is introduced and practiced in many areas such as medicine, nutrition science, healthcare, education, philosophy, and arts. There are numerous studies which suggest that mindfulness practice produces various kinds of measurable psychological, emotional, or biological effects such as stress reduction, pain relief, relaxation, and better quality of life. Some studies with mindfulness-based art activity with patients with cancer and coronary artery disease suggest that mindfulness-based art activities help to improve their quality of life and psychological stability, as well as reduce depression and anxiety. The model mindfulness-based art therapy MBAT, introduced by John Kabat-Zinn, suggests that this practice helps children to improve their abilities to pay attention and focus, regulate emotions, improve mood, self-confidence, manage symptoms of chronic pain and anxiety, and explore creativity with courage. The role of art across culture, philosophy, psychology and religion has always been linked to exploring concepts of self and self-reflection, raising self-awareness and focus. Some art practice also explores internal and external relationships and making meaning. The nature of art making in itself is a mindfulness practice when we focus on the here and now moment in the making or creative process. That is, noticing how we really move our paintbrush, what we really see in the colors, and what we really notice in our thoughts, feelings or sensations evoked in our mind and body. The simple rule is to slow down and notice with an intention. Let us try an example to see if there are differences when I ask these questions. What do you see in the painting? And what do you really see in the painting? Please look at the painting and tell me what you see. And please look at the painting quietly in the next five minutes and tell me what you see. So the difference when you hear these two questions are that the latter question helps you to have an intention of what I'm asking. So when I ask, what do you really see? That means you have an intention to see. When I ask you to slow down, in the next five minutes, you have an intention to slow down. Just give this five minutes to looking at the painting and what you see. Let us practice mindfulness using art making. We are going to explore repetitive mark making. When we prepare the materials, you can think about a medium that you like or comfortable with, whether it's a pen, pencil, marker. It will help you to be engaged with the process more comfortably. Also, be mindful about 
the size of the paper because the size of the paper is related to the time that we are going to do practice this mindfulness. If you have a bigger piece of paper, then you may be seeing a lot of uh, blank spaces or you may need a lot of time to fill the space. So next, we are preparing for a mindfulness practice. The first thing is to focus with this intention to be mindful and stay in the present. Usually, we can begin a mindfulness practice with focusing on our breath first. So you can practice breathing in and breathing out. And a few breaths, breathing in and breathing out. And you also bring all your attention to your space, your working space, your mediums. When you're ready, you can start holding up your pen. In art, we have this term called mark making. Basically, it means making a mark using the medium or the tool onto a surface. So, for instance, a pen can give you a mark like this. or a mark like this. It can also be a line and the line can also come in different forms, different patterns. And the process of repeating these marks, then we call this a repetitive art making or a repetitive mark making. So this is an example of some marks that can be created by this pen. So now I'm going into the mindfulness practice using this repetitive mark making. So I have chosen this uh, size of paper in a square form. I think uh, in the amount of time that I have, it be, will be more manageable and not overwhelming for me. So. I'm going to start at the center. As you are doing the mark making, focus on your breath. You can also notice what comes into your mind. Notice how your hands are moving. Sometimes it may be easy to be distracted by the environment or any thoughts that come to your mind, tell yourself to have this intention to just focus on the, on the process and allow yourself to be in the present. So after the process, I'm feeling quite relaxed now. I hope you enjoy this repetitive mark making activity. We will now move on to another activity. So in this activity, we are going to explore a method called Santangles. Santangles is a drawing method to create patterns uh, which are also repetitive using very simple shapes, geometries and lines. So first of all, we divide an image into tiles and in each tile, you can fill it up with lines, shapes or geometries like this. So this tile is filled up with triangles. In another tile, we can use line and you repeat the same line, shape or geometry that you have picked. And it can also be a combination of these elements. For instance, you can create lines combined with shapes. So in this way, you are actually filling up a space with some basic uh, elements.
So one of the ways to practice mindfulness using sand tangles is that um, we will be very focused in just drawing lines and shapes and simple patterns. In this repetitive process, our mind gets relaxed and we are not thinking about anything but focusing on just the shapes and lines. The simplicity helps our mind to relax and um, it's like we don't need to think about anything. So our mind is like in an autopilot mode. Then we can just follow the repetitiveness and we don't need to think about anything. I think one of the joy of uh, doing Santangos is also that um, there seems to be very unlimited ways of putting things together. When you have already finished with wavy lines, then you go with zig zigzag lines, then you go back to straight lines, and there are so many ways of drawing this. So now I have created an image using Santango methods, uh, and I have just used lines to uh, divide all the shapes and the forms. You can always continue this process by filling up with even more lines or more shapes. Or alternatively, you can also start a coloring process uh, using color pencils. Color pencil is a rigid medium, so you can, you can take your time to slowly fill up every space with the colors. Also, um, you don't really need to think about too many things because there are so many spaces to uh, fill up. So it's always, always, almost like a very spontaneous and natural process that uh, you can pick up a color and then uh, go with the flow. And also, you don't need to be worried about making mistakes or thinking that uh, I've picked a wrong color because the most important thing is um, you're spending this time with yourself, calm down and relax, notice your breath and um, be present in the moment. So we have come to the end of today's session. To summarize, we have learned the notion of mindfulness and how art making can be a mindfulness practice and its impacts on our health. We also explored therapeutic art activities to express mindfulness. I hope that this session has been useful for you. See you next time.